Hello everyone, Edge M here. We're on episode 6 for the uh, BT-DN110-A for Shimano Di2. So, I'll open it. The battery is a long type thing and this is what's been designed to look like this because most of the riders they put it on their seat posts and seat posts mostly the shapes are round then this one always work but the other thing is i have the trek madon then the trek madon had a different uh, design or different way how they install the battery for the di2 so for the di2 the battery is installed under the battle cage which is uh, inside the frame so this is an advantage of the track which is good and you don't need to wire it up to your seat post anymore so it will just stay there together with your inside your frame so this you won't see anything with uh, the setup once I did because this one will stay inside the frame and this was these are included with it uh, this is like the stopper with the lockering and this is a spacer that you can use it here but I don't need those things because as I told you my track madon is ready <coughs> to install or uh, there's an an area that you can install this without uh, using anything then that will be used <coughs> mostly for my setup then this one okay this is a oh it's a good thing it's a shimano uh, battery was uh, made in japan oh nice okay these are the 5000 milliamp uh it holds 3.7 uh wh there it's uh, 7.4 volts and uh, what will be the output of this one okay maximum charge current is 1 amp and maximum charge voltage is 8.5 volts then this is a lithium ion so this if you're looking onto it it's uh the model is BT-DN110-A. I have the recently the BT-DN110. Their differences is the 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 color is a uh, black color. It's all black. This one is a mix of color. Like you cannot say exactly what this this uh, color is. Just like a color brown but not totally brown it's a different color but anyways uh, the differences are similar there are some things that are uh, not upgradable with the other batteries the other battery but the thing is um, I'm not mentioning that because I don't have it here and it's hard to explain without without it so I'll be only explaining this guy here the uh, battery it's like a cigar big as a cigar okay let's weigh in so we're in grams this is the battery weigh it in 51 grams that's the total weight that you have all right so we'll set that aside We'll take this little thing here as we open the port. Okay. So this is episode six. We'll take those things that we have from the other episodes. So set that one, episode one, episode three, episode four, and episode 
fiber. Now since this will be on my frame, <clears throat> I will be only needing 150 millimeters length for my connector or I mean the wires that I need. So this is 150. Then I'll be connecting this in my port. Put that click. There you go. Then one of the port here. All right. Connect. Done. So the setup for this is we already have the front part of the bike. And we have the battery now. So the things why you're wondering what are the other two ports there, then of course you still have to follow this episode per episode as I told you so that you can understand how this thing goes. It's kind of confusing now but the thing is if you follow those and want to understand what I have here and these are the things that I have right now. <clears throat> We're on episode uh, 6. So make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit that uh, bell notification. Hit that bell for the uh, latest uh, notification. And hit that uh, like button also. And uh, if you have some questions, uh, send me questions. I hope I can answer those and related questions that you have later on. So I'll see you on uh, the next video. Peace.